Good day, fellow cinemas and movie geeks in the internet. You're watching the new reviews. Yes, I've just filmed my Star Trek Beyond review. That was very much rambling. Very, very much. I was like, uh, it was great. This was great. This is great. I like this now. Space. <laughs> But today, well, well, not today, it's already been today, by right now, specifically, I am talking about, yes, yes, uh, The Secret Life of Pets, yes, yes, a movie that's come out quite a while, I don't know what I'm doing, a movie that's come out quite a while ago, and I've now got around to seeing, it's a bit like, it was a bit like the movie Warcraft, when I had, not the biggest interest in seeing it, and it was alright, I, I missed out on Warcraft, and, uh, might miss out on Legend of Tarzan, but this I didn't miss out on. Oh, I'll just go see it. Um, same people that made Minions, Despicable Me. Uh, what do I think of those? Uh, as a kid, obviously, I when well when Despicable, Despicable Me came out, I was in like year seven, so I, I thought it was entertaining enough. And now, when seeing how Minions is everywhere, and like seeing Despicable Me 2 on DVD here, and watching Minions in the cinema. Uh, they're all like right. family movies. I mean, they're, I mean, they range from mediocre to goodish to pretty good. I assume, though they are like, they are. I just find some of them so bloody bland. Just like, just, just, just bland, really. Uh, especially the first Despicable Me. I just find that movie so. I don't know why they use besides just bland and just cliche and just uh. Oh no, he's a good bad guy, but he's a good guy because there's girls and he has to talk about unicorns. Yep. Am I tired of seeing minions a bit? <laughs> hey, this movie opens up a minion short like all oh, that everywhere. I mean, I find them okay. I mean, like, sometimes they make me chuckle once, but. They're, yes, they're everywhere. It's a bit like Frozen. Um. What did I think of this movie? Uh. Okay, I am a six, 16 year old who. Even though I'm 16, I'm very much a child at heart, and I could be a bit tad immature. Uh, so I I enjoy a lot of family films. So I just go and just see an anima, uh, animated film. I just enjoy the heck out of it. Like um, what's the least animated film I've seen? Um, can I think of one? Uh, now I've seen Finding Dory on Friday. Months just to get here. Bloody ridiculous. Um, Dory's dead. All the Americans saying no. No, she's not. She don't. How could she die? Why would, do, why would they do that? Um, and then I go to see the movie, and she's slaughtered finally. Like, oh my gosh, they were right. They were telling the truth. Um, I doubt it. But um, Secret Life of Pets. Now I've seen the trailer many times. They played it many times when I went to the cinema, and the concept was very interesting actually. Like the fact that you know when you know and what do they do? They're up to all their mischief and like just waiting for us to get home, and all they're just. In most cases, they're probably just sle sleeping or just tearing apart some of your furniture, uh, or just peeing or pooping somewhere because no, no, they can't bother to go outside. Um, but thinking about it, how did it stretch like this concept to an hour and a half? A very interesting concept. That could be very funny because the trailer was a bit it was quite funny when I saw it. But uh, I would thought work as a short film, and no, it's an hour and a half. And uh, what does that be? The beginning of it, like, uh, like, well, not the beginning. As it goes on, like, oh look, look, it's like that. What and owners aren't there, they're getting up to mischief. It's that thing where they bark to humans, but like actually to, to them, they're just talking normally. And then it just turns into the toy store. Everyone's saying it. They it had this concept in family films to be done to death. They um, two uh, person who hello, uh, a person who like oh, an object uh, that goes sentient, whatever, just they. It's having living a good life, and then some some guy turns up and booms it, and then they they get in a predicament, and now they're out there all alone, and they get back home, and the support and characters help them. Uh, where have I seen this before? A Toy Story, uh, G Force, uh, Stuart Little. Um, oh wait, where where else? Uh, I'm just looking at some family films over here. I'm sure I ever see one. Um, no, no, uh, not this one for me. I'd say. Uh, no, not lead on Stitch. Ant Bully. Ant Bully, potentially. Never heard of an Ant Bully. No, it's okay. Um, uh, open Season. That's a good example. Basically, the, this this concept of like 
a duo not really getting along and because, you know, messes up what uh, something good he had and then they get out there and he get back home long way round. It's concept kind of done to death in children's films and yeah, uh, and as the movie went on, I would like okay, I'm just getting a bit bored of this now. I was getting a bit bored of it. Like whenever like on the third or fourth time, like one of the characters gets captured by animal control, which has nothing else to do, like there's an animal we've got to capture it, like they're always the villains in these movies where pets are just like, you know, the sentient and they just go out well they're always sentient they're alive. I mean like talking who like as if they're humans and they're out there, like animal control is just always there uh, like they're monsters like ah I got you um, like Sean Sheep. Um Sean Sheep, but that's a good movie, Sean Sheep. <laughs> um, Sean, wait, is it the Sean Sheep movie or is it Sean Sheep the the movie? What's going on here? But um, uh, but as for characters, I mean, Max could be the selfish a hole, and I thought Duke was going to be the innocent one who like Max kind of torments, but then he turns a bit of an a hole. He like like bloody intimidates him, like I will kill you if you ruin this for me. I'm like, jeez, oh okay, I'm guessing they're both a bit mean then. Uh, the, the owners are barely in it, <laughs> uh, it's because it's about pets, and the cat, and the cat's an a-hole, because apparently all cats are a-holes, which I delightfully disagree, no, yeah, I guess it's true, he's ignoring me, so it makes him one, um, oh, yes, and to address the controversy, yes, the cat in this movie, whenever it turns around, it does have a butthole, I don't know why, but a lot of people are saying, oh my gosh, they finally did it, they're showing the pets actually have buttholes and they're not just furry on their behinds, I'm like, okay, this is a bit weird, uh, like, wow, the cat does have a butthole, well, cats have always had buttholes, but specifically in animated films, I assume not, why am I talking about cat buttholes, I'm gonna move on, um, but, what is the, the animation was quite nice, I mean, I mean, the designs were quite interesting, but it's just like New York and look, here's some pets, just nothing, basically just like the illumination design just of like just the normal world of like just pets like uh, just cartoonized caricatures I don't bloody know uh, um, the, the hawk was cool because you know he, uh, he, like he was an addict like I, 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 I gotta eat an animal like no no like, fine uh, I think my favorite cat was probably a cat named Gidget she was like a white fluffy dog just so voice the way she told I just found it amusing like I uh, think gonna find Max. Um, you you remember her from the Sky Broadband adverts right now? Like you could dance all night long with Sky Broadband. Wow. Um, but um, it, it was a bit weird. Like I think um one of the, the biggest reasons she wanted to go find Max was because she had a crush on him. Even though when it, when Max saw that uh they got a new dog Duke uh, and she said does 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 your uh, friend there have have a cute friend? As in, like, uh, she, as in, uh, she, she, look, she, she wants to find, she wants a relationship, I don't bloody know. Um, but, but then later on, like, no, we got to find Max, because I have a crush on him. Got milk, just got to say over and over again. Oh, and then Kevin Hart basically does his thing where he shouts into the microphone, and, I uh, know, he's doing his Kevin Hart-isms, as they say, but the design of the white fluffy bunny is actually very cute, and there's actually a moment at the end where the white bunny, you know, uh, he, he actually... Because he hates humans, but did something happens to him, and it's actually quite kind of heartwarming because the anime is uh, like, like, oh my gosh, he actually likes uh, having, uh, like, ha being loved. Oh, and it was also like this. Is, I, I assume I, I was assuming the whole movie was going to be like, oh, when when you are at work at home, they like they do this to the toilet and they do this with the TV, but no, like I'm guessing this is saying the secret life of pets, and they, as they just. All the owners just leave their windows open for them to jump out and possibly fall to the desk, but no, they just like jump down the stairs and another their friend's owner leave uh, leaves the window over, so they just jump in there. Um, but uh, like, as in like, get out of the house, wise, not just yeah, half an hour, just an hour and a half, and then uh, just fiddling the all the home stuff. Moving on. Um, what else is there? There's a there's this uh, dog who's paralyzed. Yeah. Uh. What else? Uh, they, the, the society uh, that like the Kevin Hart bunny is running called the Society of Flush Pets. Even though I don't really know why would someone would flush a bunny or or like a dog, but I assume it means flush pets is in this end strays. Um, what what else is there? Uh, what else is there? Give me a moment. <laughs> Oh, and luckily the movie doesn't end with like a full-on dance number, which like most CGI animated 
family films have to end with, like, all the characters da dancing to some funky beat, like Hotel Transylvania and Despicable Me 1 and 2, I oh, and Hotel Transylvania 2 style. Like, Despicable Me and Hotel Transylvania, they mesh right well, uh, quite well. I mean, yes, they're both animated, uh, like, computer animated, but they both, uh, feature, uh, like, uh, some dads, uh, like, the but both are quite protect over protective and also they, they just have some cliches in them. Um, so so there you go. I, I link them. But I'm talking about pets. See, I'm talking about some pets. Pets. Okay. Um, what what do I think of it overall? I found it to be a below average, not very good, just bland, run of the mill, kids movie. I mean, it what it's good. I I think I only chuckled. It wasn't even really a chuckle. Like it's like heh, once, but but like some parts I wasn't really laughing at. The kids behind me they were having a ball. I I see this. These are when I talk, talk about these type of movies. I feel like I kind of some old harsh like Debbie Downer man. Even though I'm like only sixteen and I enjoy a lot of family films and I'm I could be a bit childish, but I don't know why. It just it just wasn't for me. So when I go like oh this. I didn't like this movie. I didn't really have a good time, and then I think, oh wait, this movie is intended for like ten year olds. So then I feel, then I feel a bit crappy. But um, just, just think of that all really. Um, yeah, just I mean, like uh, I found it kind of dull and boring in places. Uh, kind of got a bit. Some parts were a bit repetitive. I mean, the characters were okay. I mean. Even, even, uh, some were, some were better than others. Um, didn't laugh all that much, and uh, and luckily it's not too DreamWorks like where it just relies on like a the the celebrity voicing it, even though you could tell it's Kevin Hart. Um, yeah, just so obviously Kevin Hart. <laughs> um, that it? Ah, I would have thought I would have more to say. Huh. Oh well. I don't know why I was leaning so low, uh, so low there, but actually, um, before this movie started, I had to yet again see the trailer for another Illumination movie coming out called Sing. The the trailer was quite awful. I don't know why, but the fact that they were singing like modern pop songs, like they even sang like that uh, that Nicki Minaj song. What was it called? Uh, uh, so, uh, that, that was once a trend and now it's over and now it's kind of wiped from my memory. The snake one about her having a big butt or something and then she does like a witch laugh like <laughs> uh, It was awful. But I don't know why, it's just, it's just them just... It's just a non-movie, talking animals, it looks like Zootropolis or Zootopia. This is, to us is Zootropolis, I have to post it up there. Um, but uh, it looks like... Well, Zootropolis is is a really awesome movie. Well, uh, that looks kind of crap because yes, it's talking animals doing human-like things, but uh, it's them singing pop songs. I don't know why. Just them singing just makes me not like it. And also, like I kind of I guess, I can already predict what the movie's gonna be about already. Like it features a gorilla and his dad's a criminal. And it's like you're not my son. If you want to sing, and then by the end he's probably gonna be proud of him. It's gonna be like in the club with a chance of meatballs where like. Uh, the dad of the scientist just doesn't like him, and so like, oh, I love you, son. And also, it has like at the end, it's like a pig, like I don't know, dancing around a store, and with like a Spanish song, which was featured in the trailer for that Char Charlie Brown movie, which I read that that was a nice movie, gave me the feels. Um, and then the, I if you if you've seen it, I know what you know what I mean. The movie features uh, the rabbit's twerking at one point. Uh, I I'd, I'd see that again. And at one point in the movie, there's a bit where like uh, the animals are driving a bus. They steal a bus. Um, there's another part that I found quite amusing. Like we said, like where where where's the car? And then like the Kevin Hart bunny is like there it is. We're about to crash into it. And he put, does he bow? That was quite funny. Um, you know, I laugh all that much. I, well, I didn't laugh. What? I don't actually laugh all that much. Um, to be honest, uh, I'm just being honest here, you know. Um, but at one point, so this, this bus they're driving on the back of the bus. I don't know if it, this was the literal poster they're going to use to advertise the movie. Like it literally said "sing" on it, so I don't know if that was advertising that movie coming out or was a little Easter egg. But it kind of felt like they were advertising it. By the way, 
I mentioned earlier that that's a short, it's like Pixar style, uh, before this movie, you know, begins, and it's like a short film about the minions trying to save money for a banana blender, it was actually quite amusing, um, but, uh, it, it was amusing, mm, it doesn't fit my, uh, br my posh, high standard taste, nah, um, but, uh, yeah. Okay, I think now I, I think now I'm done. Take it into the account that it's just a, you know, it's just it's a family film for kids that like obviously kids enjoy because they're laughing behind me. To me, they find it all that funny. I mean, one or two farts are just uh, farts. I'm just say farts. Parts. Parts. The, movie, the cats had a butthole in the movie, so maybe that's somewhat relevant. That's disgusting. Um. But one or two parts and jokes that I found quite clever and like amusing and chuckled out. When I say amusing, I just feel like a posh, like a posh, pretentious man. Like mm, it was amusing, I suppose. It's not high quality cinema, isn't it? It's not going to win an Oscar, you know. You know what I'm saying? Um, but um, I just found it kind of a bland, below average, run of the mill cliche, you know, just modern kid CGI film. And when I say like like some of the jokes I I even remember being used in other CGI kids movies I've seen recently um so yeah because right now it's like Pixar DreamWorks uh, Illumination like in the CGI department isn't it and I'll, oh yes and one of the dogs dress up as a minion because because if they if you didn't know they own the minions um I mean the cat the characters were okay or some actually uh found quite quite funny. Um the CGI looked nice and uh but but just the uh, when the actual you just the it, it's kind of dull at some points. It gets a bit repetitive and boring and dull at least for me. And um just the idea of like the secret life of pets it just kinda of runs out and it's just like oh they need to get home which I've seen many times before, I just kinda of seen it. It's a cliche at some points. And uh, it tries really hard to be funny at some point, but but yes, I feel like an old grump. I feel like an old grump. It, it's below average. I didn't really have all that fun with it. I I, I thought it was kind of crap. <laughs> at least for me, I didn't have. I I found it. I found it. You know, tolerable. But I, you know, there you go. It's not, it's not for my demographic, even though I enjoy other uh, kid family films. But there you go. Not not for me. Below average. But you know, I tolerated it. Bad a thing, bad a boom, I suppose. <laughs> it's no Inside Out or Kung Fu Pun Panda, Panda, Kung Fu Panda Two or Toy Story trilogy. Not a link to toy. It, that's what I'm trying to say. Just, it's just it'll, it, it'll, your kids will have fun with it, but it's not like it's gonna, you know, bring out that much of an emotional impact or critical thinking or whatnot or like. The high standard that and those C CGI computer animated family films did. I just letting you know. I mean, adults probably my mum saw and she thought it was crap. I'm a teenager and I didn't think it was very good, but I'm sure like m many seven year olds have um, had fun of it. I knew that because I was hearing them behind me. Uh, so after seeing Starship Beyond, I went and saw that. So quite quite a difference there. Quite different movies. Um. This is Dino Reviews, not a screen watcher like you, Chewy. Yeah. By the way, there's like two instances when the dogs, like, I feel like they're actually gonna swear, but they don't, like, 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 Duke is like, holy sh. Like, well, is he actually gonna swear? Like, like, my mind just switched, like, they're oh, just watching the movie, and like, what? Is he actually gonna swear? And he said, holy schnitz, or like, good. This, 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 this is meant to be a family movie, and you'd like, yeah, you didn't actually swear, but, but, come on. Come come on, that's just, just that's just lame. 